reason why I don't believe it's going to be a lasting relationship is because I don't believe that Rondo has proven to be as good as he used to be. And that's really what this comes down to. It's not going to have anything to do with this communication or arguments or whatever. Rajon Rondo needs to get back to reminding us why he was a top 10 point guard in this league. He needs to get back to reminding us that, you know what, we need to take stock of his worth even when he was playing with the big three because of what he did as the ultimate orchestrator at the time of the Boston Celtics with the success that they enjoyed under the Doc Rivers era. He has to remind us of that. He hasn't done that since he's been in Dallas. He's averaging nine points, about 6.2 assists. His assists are down. Uh, you know, he, he shoots awfully, around 40%. He has never been a good perimeter shooter. Uh, and so when you're thinking about the Western Conference, a Chris Paul, a Steph Curry, you know, a Mike Conley Jr., uh, the list goes on and on with the, with the bevy, uh, the Russell Westbrooks of the world, the great point guards that exist within the Western Conference alone. Rondo was brought there to measure up and to make sure there wasn't a flagrant deficiency between what Dallas threw at you from the point guard spot compared to what the opposition was throwing their way. We haven't seen that yet. And if you're not going to see that from Rondo throughout the rest of the season, he's going to be looking for money, and there are going to be other suitors more desperate than Dallas willing to throw more money at him for what they want saw. Whereas Dallas, who's a very good team, fifth seed in the Western Conference right now, 39-21 and 21 record, they're in a position where they don't have to settle and they don't have to overpay uh, for somebody uh, that's giving them a marginal level of production. So to me, when I look at Rondo, I'm saying to myself, he's going to end up elsewhere simply because he hasn't proven to be good enough to be worth the price tag that's going to come along with him this summer for a team the quality of the Dallas Mavericks. It's that simple to me. Hmm. I'm not ready to say that Rondo's done in Dallas. Mm. I am leaning in your direction. You have just completely written it off. I need to see what happens from this flashpoint on. There's still a chance, a long shot chance, that these two will get on the same page, that Dallas will start to play better because Rondo will start playing more comfortably. I think he has played uncomfortably from the time he set foot in Dallas. Stephen A., you know this and I know this. Rondo has a great basketball mind, and I don't use that word very loosely on this show. Great basketball mind. Rick Carlisle also has a great basketball mind. But they are each their own man. Rondo is difficult to deal with. He is difficult to coach. But if you can find some middle ground with him, as Doc finally did, great things can happen. And maybe they're starting to find some middle ground now. I don't know. The, the one quote from C Carlisle at the end of a lot of quotes from him that caught my ear was the fact that he said, we need to work on the solution of making his stint as a Dallas Maverick the most successful one possible. Stint would imply to me that it ha it's finite, like it's going to end at the end of this year. So you are probably right about that. But I'm just here to say... Maybe, as I said yesterday, maybe they will go north instead of south from here. Somehow, Jason Kidd got on the same page with Rick Carlisle. Somehow, that worked in the end. Now, Jason Kidd was an older player. Maybe he was a little more wiser and mellower sure? at that point. Maybe Rondo is still pretty full of himself. And Rondo wants to call his own plays. And it is clear now, thanks to a suspension, that will not be allowed. We know Rondo's a champion. We know he's big time. We can't disrespect that, brother. But do you have the requisite skill set at this point to be that dude to lead a team in the Western Conference going up against those Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, Steph Curry in the say crew? That other name. Do you have Don't what it say takes? It. Does well, it? Thank listen, you. Tony Parker. Too. We'll get, okay? say we'll get so there the later is, on in the show. I just show. said it. Just <laughs> we'll get there. It is what it is. <laughs> I told it is you. what it is. Did you see it, it last is, night. It is what it is. Uh, he commented okay. on it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I need you to refresh my memory, just so neither yes. one of us are hypocritical here. When this trade went mm -hmm. down, what did the great Stephen Naismith say about this trade? Mm. I thought I thought it was a big trade. So did and I. And believe it or not, I still. I, st I still believe it has the potential to be that. But, Skip, Rondo can't hit jump shots. And if Never they're laying could. off you. Okay. And, and, but I'm saying if they're, if they're laying off. Yeah, but we believed that 
his ability to penetrate into the teeth of a defense, to create shots for other people, and more importantly, to defend those opposing point guards would obviously be a big deal. We haven't seen that. Maybe it's lingering effects from his injury. Maybe he's lost a step. Maybe. We don't know. Yeah. But that's what we assumed. You can't have those deficiencies and can't hit jump shots and have opposing teams playing five on four defensively because they ain't worried about you hitting perimeter shots and be effective for the Dallas Mavericks. That ain't going to happen. And that's my question about Rondo. This argument means nothing to me. It's the fact that I'm wondering, can he do what Dallas needs him to do? Okay. That's well, the question. I am not going to be a hypocrite because I applauded this trade. Mm -hmm. I applauded Mark Cuban for giving up Brandon Wright and Jay Crowder and Jameer Nelson, a conditional first and a second in two years, along with the trade exception for Rondo, because I thought that was just what that doctor ordered for well, that well, team at that time. He's better than Jameer. Well, well, I got to tell you that. Yeah, that's fine, but Skip, there's nothing hypocritical about it. We are entitled to witness what we're witnessing okay. and saying, look, this is what we're seeing. Well, nothing that's what I'm saying. About I'm that. not done like with this trade, yet. Yeah, but so I'm not, not giving up yeah. on it completely. I need to see it play yeah. out a little farther.